What's good, everybody? So, BehindTheChair.com reached out to me and told me that they partner with Babelis and that they wanted to send me the limited FX collection camo clippers and trimmers. And they said that just give them a try. And if you like them, maybe you can post something about it. So I figured I'll do a quick tutorial on this video using these clippers and trimmers and just tell you what I think. So right now we are doing a number two on top. I'm gonna make sure that we go over it very well because we wanna get all the little hairs. We don't want any standing up or you know, we wanna take care of as much as possible anyways. So now we're gonna go ahead and go into the fade down technique and we're gonna use a one and a half open just going right into that number two. As you can see, I'm right in that parietal ridge area just floating right off the top going into that number two. Now I will say this, my man works in a warehouse setting so his head's always sweating and I believe they have to wear hard hats so he's got some irritation going on there. So I'm trying to be as easy as possible and just uh, be light with the clippers and the trimmers. But also I have the JRL double-sided brush and I'm using the real soft bristles to just kind of, you know, knock that loose hair out of there. So I went ahead and closed the one and a half guard and I just dropped just a little bit down in that parietal ridge area. And now I have the number one guard open and I'm just dropping down a little bit more floating into that one and a half close that I did earlier. As you can see, I just closed the number one and then I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a little bit lower. Now, this is what I do whenever I'm doing the fade down technique and one of the reasons I love the fade down technique is that even though you drop lower, you can still see the spots up above and I'll use, you know, higher in the fade. So I'll use the corner of my number one guard or whatever guard that I have and I'll just tap at those uh, while I'm moving. Now I do know I have to go back and touch up some more stuff but at least I can knock out some of those dark spots as I'm moving. Now that I pretty much stretched that one all the way down now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of create that open blade area. So I use the blade fully open to create that bottom panel. Now I'm gonna close it halfway, drop a little bit lower, and then I'll close it all the way, and that's where I'm gonna create my bald line at. So we skip the zero guard, why? Because I'll come back to the zero guard. And I know some of you guys get real confused with the fade down technique. It's real easy, especially if you want to stretch that blend out. So as you can see, I did most of the compressed fade at the very top and I just use that number one open and the number one close is dropping down real low towards the end of that uh, vertical bar. And that's where I started my open blade and now working into the closed blade. And then I can just use the trimmer to bald right into what I'm doing right now. And then where you see that line right now, I have the number one fully open again, or excuse me, the blade fully open. And I'm just flicking in, trying to soften the line that we see there. And then I can come back with my zero guard and I'll use that eh, like halfway open and I'll move it around as needed if I need to open it more or close it just to kind of soften that line. And now we're starting to get a stretch blend. And many people say that they like my fades because they tend to look blurrier. That's one of the keys, man. If you want blurry fades, especially if you're looking at it up close or from a distance, stretch that fade out. Don't be afraid to use that number one, man, and just stretch it all the way down and just flick out at the bottom to blend that thing out. It'll give you more of that stretch look and just real faded look. So a little bit about these clippers. I wanna say this, Babelis has stepped their game up. I wanna be 1000% honest, Babelis and Dennis knows this, that I've always hated these FX clippers, you know, with that round handle. And uh, I just didn't like the way they really cut. Also, it seems like they would, uh, you know, tend to get a little bit loud. 
But man, the gold pair of FX1s that they sent me and these, they actually are very quiet and the lever feels amazing and they cut really well. So I just wanna give them their kudos that they have stepped their game up, uh, whether it be the engine, the lever, just everything, man. It's, and they're, they're doing it. I mean, they have really stepped it up. And the trimmers, we don't even have to say anything about the trimmers, honestly. I mean, I feel like, you know, we went from the wall detailers, like the corded version and, and you know, the OG uh, Andis T outliners. We knew that those were hitters. And whenever we went cordless, it seems like Babeless has had the cordless trimmers on lock. So I balled it out the bottom with them. And now I'm gonna come in and just kind of hit some of those dark spots with my, my shears. The thicker the dark spot is, I use more of the full blade, but whenever I'm just trying to hit little spots, you'll see I just use the tip of my blade, just trying to hit those little dark spots. And I'll move all throughout the fade, just using the tip of my blade, just touching any dark spots that I see to try to get this thing looking as blurry as possible. Like I told you before, it's not always the size of the hair, hairs. Uh, for example, if you ran a number one all over someone's head, you would still have dark spots even though all the hair is the same length. Why? Because it's the grouping of the hair, it's the density of the hair, and we wanna get in there and kind of ungroup that hair with the tip of the shears and just kind of thin those areas out. So it's kind of like thin and shears, but you just have more control. Sometimes I use thin and shears. Matter of fact, I'll use the thin and shears on the other side of the head just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. But as you can see, the blend's starting to come together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the thin and shears on this side, doing the same thing. I prefer to use my regular shears instead of the thinning shears, just because I feel like the thinning shears pull a lot more. And, uh, and it's not just because I have cheap thinning shears because these are Mitsutani's and they're uh, very expensive thinning shears. They work great. Um, I just feel like the, they just like to pull a little bit. So I'd rather use my shears and I feel like I have more control. But as you can see, man, I did the whole system all the way around the head. Then I lined them up, do a little color enhancement on there. And yes, he does like color enhancement. And, uh, and anyways, kind of put it on a little dark so that way whenever he goes back to work, sweats a little or jumps in the shower, it's gonna lighten up just a little bit, but it won't come all the way off and, uh, and he'll have it just the way he wants it. But yeah, so we're just detailing the fade and you guys tell me what you think, man. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I, I see some little spots that, uh, you know, that I could hit. You know, sometimes the camera picks up things the eyes don't see, uh, but for the most part, it's a beautiful looking fade in my opinion. I hope you guys like it. Once again, just giving you a quick update on these Babeless Limited FX Collection camo version. I love them. I love the clippers and the trimmers. They cut well. Man, they're smooth and uh, just all around good clippers. But until next time, God bless you guys. Peace. I'm out of here.